The revolutionary technology of jet grouting, employing soft water to carve solid earth, gave birth to unique soil solidification technology. The jet grout method is now applicable to various fields. With this method, high pressure is applied to water that is employed to carve away the soil. Then, cement is forced in below to replace the soil thus removed. The pipe is slowly rotated and raised. Beneath it, a round pile or column is created. The column thus created has a diameter of three meters. Never before has such a large improvement in soil solidification been possible. And this is done with a hole that is only 10 centimeters in diameter. However, a solid column has thus been created by using grouting material with cement as the principal component. It takes many years for raindrops to carve holes in rocks. However, water with great energy can cut through solids instantly. The process of carving earth can be easily pictured by watching the rotation in slow motion. How is it possible to cut at such great distances? Let's take a look at the secret behind this process. The effect of the force of a strong jet of water in the air is reduced when the jet is submerged in water. The high pressure of the water jet is not apparent at great distances. However, if the high pressure water jet is enshrouded with air, the effect can be seen. and shrouding the high pressure water with air. This is the secret of jet grouting. Air is employed to amplify the force of the water and serves to bring the cut soil to the surface quickly. For this reason, it is actually possible to force in cement to replace the soil removed from the created cavity. Accordingly, the pipe is not only used as a path for the cement, but also provides paths for the high pressure water and air. This is called a triple pipe and serves as the main artery of the process. Since soil replaces cement with this process, Piles are produced with improved strengths of more than 100 kilograms per square centimeter. These piles are ideally suited for use as building supports.
These columns, produced by jet grouting, can support buildings. Buildings of the early 30s were formerly built here. And column jet grouting was employed to form bearing piles for the buildings without disturbing the foundations. At this site, the working intervals were freely selected to maximize the use of large equipment. In this way, it was possible to set bearing piles of column jet to support a modern 16-story building. Wing jet grouting was developed to prevent infiltration of water by means of a shoring wall. The soil backing the sheet pile is cut away in a triangular shape and cement is fed in to replace the soil in the two cavities simultaneously. With the wing jet method, the surface of the steel is washed clean, simultaneously with the cutting away and removal of soil. Cement slurry is then fed in. As a result, the steel and cement form a very good bond, and the water protection result is excellent. The wing jet method was largely employed during the construction of this industrial waste facility. This waste storage area was built along the shore of the Seto Inland Sea in western Japan. Ordinarily, steel pipe piles like these are employed and the spaces are grouted. This effectively stops water from leaking through. However, in this installation, ordinary grouting methods cannot adequately prevent contaminated water from leaking into the sea. The wing jet method was employed because it provides such an exceedingly tight bond for the steel joints. The joints are strengthened by the wing jet method and there is absolutely no fear of contaminated water leaking out. The cutoff wall that is thereby created will perpetually demonstrate its water tightness. Panel jet grouting is yet another form of this process. A single wall panel is created in the space carved between two holes. The wall is created by removing the cut slime from one hole, while cement slurry is fed through the other hole to replace the cut slime that is removed. A distinctive feature of this process is that it is possible to visually confirm the results of the operation by simply observing the slime being jetted out. If this process is repeatedly performed in a horizontal direction, a continuous wall can be created. The new wall is continuous and has a thickness of 15 centimeters. Now, water leakage through river dikes and levees can be prevented with remarkable results. Since no chemicals are used with the materials, 
there is no need to worry about the water becoming contaminated. Cities are rapidly becoming overcrowded, and they often require redevelopment of underground utilities. And it is here also that jet grouting demonstrates its convenience. Excavation is progressing steadily beneath these street deck plates. However, there are existing utilities which prevent shoring. Therefore, there is fear of subsidence on the backside. If the column jet method is employed in these cases of partition shoring, not only will water be cut off, but work can be performed safely. Since various pipes exist in a row 15 meters wide, conventional shoring becomes impossible and an auxiliary process is necessary. It is only with the column jet method that water can be stopped with certainty and shoring accomplished simultaneously. Excavation can be safely carried out and the backside of the shoring wall can be solidly set. Recently, Challenges have been presented by shields that have been positioned deeper and foundations that have been made more complex. In response to this, an improved process is demanded. Jet grouting is the answer. For example, backing soil can be solidly shored prior to shielding. This is another merit of this method. After soil solidification by column jet and letting it set for a short period of time, the shoring is then broken out. Behind the concrete wall lies the improved foundation by column jet grouting. There is absolutely no leaking water with this solid foundation. Now the shielding machine starts. An appropriate solid foundation can be excavated for the shield. The machine smoothly excavates the soil. In contrast to other soil solidification processes, the jet grouting method will not damage underground utilities or cause foundations to heave up. Therefore, it is possible to make deep penetrations over long distances and in short periods of time. Furthermore, shield tunneling can be carried out in narrow streets by working small sections in short periods without the construction of vertical access shafts. This is made possible by a shield docking concept where two shields approach each other from different directions and meet underground. A single tunnel is created.